phrases is a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. You'll see these again, but not quite yet. The cups and the ball, oldest magic trick in the entire world, several thousand years old, supposedly appearing in uh, drawings and ancient tombs of, uh, of Egypt. But the idea with the cups and balls is you start with three cups and a ball, so a cups and ball. Uh, actually, you know what? Technically, it is called the cups and balls. I just don't think that sounds as classy. But here we go. Ball number two. You put the ball under the cup or on top of the cup, and you use a magic wand to distract people from the third ball appearing on top of the. Oh. 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 Freaked me out actually. <laughs> so three cups, three balls. Watch them carefully. Here we go. Ball number one. Do not watch the wand. It's a stick. It's all it is. It's just a stick. Pay no attention to it. It's just to distract you from the ball disappearing. See, I was distracted that time. <laughs> See, I, I can even be distracted. So don't watch the stick. Watch the hand, and then that's when the ball disappears. It's all misdirectional. We'll same idea with the second ball. Give it a little uh, wave. I'll put the ball right here in my fist, nice and close. You can go, oh, that's OK. That's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> I told you the jokes get worse. Let's try this one more time. Give it a little wave. It looks like that one's gone. Same idea with the third ball. Give it a little spin, a little flourish, and it looks like that ball also disappears. It goes up the sleeve, across the chest, down, one, two, three, under the cups, the cups, and balls, the oldest magic trick. In the <laughs> you know what? I like it, but not that much, because it does break that second rule of magic. I repeat the trick over and over again. You see it enough, eventually you figure out how it works. So I'm going to make it into what it eventually became, a game. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's see, uh, sir, right here, which, call, which cup has a ball under it? Uh, the middle one. The middle one, you're right. Actually, you're going to be right no matter what. This is a great game for you, a terrible <laughs> game for me. So. <laughs> like, it's too good a game for you. I'm going to make the odds a little bit better in my favor here. Uh, I'll get both of these. And that means, you know, house always wins. Um, so how many should be left? One. One, and it should be right here, right? Yep. Unless I cheated, and I did. I cheated in your favor. I put that one back over here. Uh, actually, I technically cheated twice. I cheated ambidextrously, so you can have a chance of it. But how many should be left? One. one. That's why I don't understand how all three end up over here. That's one, two, three. You know, let me get rid of all three of these one more time. Get rid of them. We don't need them at all. They're just distraction. At this point, how many should be left? None. Exactly. So that's why I don't understand. This ball, can, wait, that's not even the, that's the turn up. I told you it would come back. <laughs> it's a turn. You never know what's going to turn up. <laughs> it's a That's a lame joke. Not as bad as a lime joke. There's a lime over here. And there's a lime over here. But it's not the cups and fruit or the cups and vegetables. It's the cups and balls. And that is the oldest magic trick wow. in the entire world.